Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing how do organs work together. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. Organs of the body work together for us to walk, run, and play. An organ cannot work alone without the help of other organs. For instance, we need all the major organs when we do household chores. We need to breathe in oxygen through our nose going to our lungs. We need to digest food to have source of energy. In movement, bones and muscles work coordinately in washing dishes and clothes. In this lesson, you will communicate that the major organs work together to make the body function properly. Let's do this! Given below are the daily activities that you usually do during this pandemic. Explain how the different organs work during these activities. Planting vegetables and ornamental plants We are using our hands in planting vegetables and ornamental plants. With the help of our bones and muscles, we can dig the soil, carry the pot, and water the plant using the water sprinklers. Watching your favorite TV programs The organ we use in watching is our eyes. Through our eyes, we can see pictures and colors. It is also processed and interpreted by our brain for us to understand the program we are watching. Helping your parents in cooking your meal. Cooking is a skill that is why it needs proper guidance from elders. We used our brain to follow instructions on how to cook. Then the brain controlled and coordinated muscles for proper response. Playing games When playing games, most of our organ works. This includes the brain, eyes, ears, bones, and muscles. Our organs coordinate with each other to perform certain actions and activities. Let's do this! Predict what will happen to other organs and to your body if the following organs undergo malfunction. An unhealthy digestive system can impair your body's ability to absorb nutrients, store fat, and regulate body sugar. You may experience upset stomach, unintentional weight change, skin irritation, and food intolerance. If our kidneys stop working completely, our body fills with extra water and waste products. Our hands or feet may swell. We will feel tired and weak because our body needs clean blood to function properly. Since our brain is the control center of the body, when problem occurs, the result can be devastating. Inflammation in the brain 
can lead to problems such as vision loss, weakness, and paralysis, loss of brain cells, which happens if you suffer a stroke can affect your ability to think clearly. Lung failure is a serious condition that develops when the lung can get enough oxygen in the blood. We may feel the symptoms of shortness of breath, fatigue, inability to exercise as you did before, and sleepiness. What happens to the body when one organ is not working properly? Organ failure is when a major organ stops working. Major organs all have important jobs to keep the body alive. If one of these organs stop working, the patient will not be able to survive without the help of very strong medicines and or machines. Let's do this. Balanced diet is one of the keys to maintain a healthy body. Healthy body means that all organs are working properly. Make a meal plan for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, food and drinks, one cup of rice, one glass of fresh milk, one much sized meat, one egg and vegetables. Time, 7 a.m. Lunch, one cup of rice, one glass of fresh juice, fish and vegetables. Time, 12 p.m. Dinner, one cup of rice, one glass of water, meat and vegetables. Time, 6 p.m. Let's do this. Write your reflection on how the organs work together to maintain a healthy body. I understand that our organs work together to perform an activity. The organ cannot work alone without the help of other organs. I realized that to keep our organs working properly, we need to maintain a healthy body by eating healthy meals and exercising regularly. Let's do this. Write your idea on the saying, we are what we eat. Our body needs essential nutrients to be healthy. Keeping a healthy body is knowing what to eat and avoiding what is not giving any nutrients. When we eat healthily, it will reflect on our body the same as when we eat unhealthy foods. What we eat is what we become. That is why I always choose to be healthy. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.